Okay, it's been about 48 hours since we first opened the box. Uh, I've been playing this a lot. In fact, the only complaint I have right now is how much my fingers hurt from so much playing. About the guitar, though, I can only find one major flaw. No, no, not major. I can only find one flaw that took me almost 48 hours to find. And it's a super minor finishing issue on the perforating or the binding. It's all buried in a nitro clear coat, so it's not even, you can barely see it if you know what you're looking for. So, spruce top is beautiful, basswood uh, back and sides, great, and even the natto neck um, is fantastic. So, this is not a Martin, not a Taylor, but boy, for 180 bucks, they call this an entry-level guitar. I would say this is definitely the higher end of the entry level. I would almost put it in the mid-range sort of guitars, because uh, you're going to have to get into the $350 uh, range to be able to start competing for this quality of fit and finish. So I was looking at a Donner guitar as well, and that's you know considerably cheaper, or the Jasmine even at Amazon. Um, links to those are below, but. You know, for the price, for a few dollars more, this you can't beat this quality. Uh, and the sound, it sounds fantastic. So, anyway, the real question we have is, is it Crazy Cow approved? Well, Crazy Cow, what do you think? All right, Crazy Cow says it's a good deal. So go check it out.